Hey guys, um, got a new update, got new, uh, oh, previous video, we did a setup of, uh, ESXi adding a data store, as you guys can see, data's copying, but yeah, back to the update, um, since I have two hosts, R710s, I took the caddies out just for better airflow and everything, I'm going to be um, replacing these, these two right here. I have one R810 with four CPUs, and they're going to be all 10 cores each, replacing this one right here, and then next is going to be to replace that one. And this is going to be a little bit intense project, a little bit more costly, so it's going to be some time, but we'll implement it slowly at a time. But definitely when a server gets here, we're going to take this one out, or actually just keep it still, and just replace and put it right here. This one's off. This is my other R710 that I don't use. It's just sitting there. And put the R810 in there. And put all 96 gigabytes, 98, sorry, into the R810. And let's spin it up. And uh, slowly build it up. Um, the maximum capacity you can handle is up to the terabyte. I'll never put that much RAM in it. Probably stop at 256 for each servers when I do get them. But yeah, that's a little uh, update. For that portion, the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm running out of CPU power. Even though I have two quad cores Xeon X5530s in these, it's not enough for what I want to do. And like trying to expand and everything, it's just kind of hard. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of an update for you to let you guys know. And uh, if you guys want to follow my Facebook page for GNET Data Center, I uh, have. Uh, the link in the description if you guys want to follow it. Um, I, I always post stuff daily there, usually up to daily. Um, and you guys can tag along, see what I'll be buying and uh, sharing. And you guys can actually interact with me one on one faster than email. So, but I still do reply to emails. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, share the video. See you guys.